good morning so uh, uh, consider this problem five coins are tossed three to be times the number of hits observed is given below examine whether the coin is unpassed okay here the coins are tossed you know that when the coin is tossed there are two possible outcomes hit and tie so therefore definitely this problem comes under binomial distribution here when tossing of a coin what is the probability of getting hit that is equal to 1 by 2 that is probability of success and the probability of failure is equal to again 1 by 2 okay then let x be a random variable random variable x x is assigned to be the number of hits so zero number of hits one number of hits two number of hits three number of hits four number of hits five number of hits in this problem the observed values are given that is observed frequencies are given 15 45 85 these are all observed frequencies now our aim is to construct the theoretical frequencies or e of e i expected frequencies okay so here e of x is equal to n into n c x p power x into q power n minus x where x is equal to 0 1 to up to 5 so this is the binomial the pdf of a binomial distribution then now we are going to construct a e of x x varies from 0 to 5 so first of all e of 0 e of 0 is equal to e of 0 is equal to what n, n is equal to actually number of trials of this is equal to n is equal to 320 and small n number of coins this is equal to there are five coins tossed therefore small n is equal to 5 the capital n is equal to 320 first here n is equal to 5 c x is 0 5 c not p power x 1 by 2 the whole power x is 0 q q is again 1 by 2 n is 5 5 minus 0 so therefore this is equal to 320 into 5 c not is 1 1 by 2 power 0 is again 1 therefore into 1 by 2 power 5 1 by 2 power 5 so this is equal to 320 divided by 32 so therefore 10 e of e of 0 is equal to 10 similarly e of 1 e of 1 is equal to again 320 into 5c1 into 1 by 2 the whole power 1 into 1 by 2 the whole power 5 minus 1 so therefore 4 so therefore again i can write 320 into 5c1 is 5 into uh, 1 by 2 the whole power 5 therefore 1 by 32 so therefore this becomes a like 10 10 into 5 is equal to 15 10 into 5 is equal to 15 then e of 2 is equal to 320 into 5c2 into 1 by 2 the whole power 2 again 1 by 2 5 minus 3 5 minus 2 is again 3 so this is equal to 320 into 5c1 is 5 5c2 is 5 into 4 into uh, 4 divided by 1 into 2 so therefore 5c2 is 10 into again 1 by 32 therefore which is equal to 10 into 10 so therefore 100 therefore 100 okay similarly e of 3 is equal to 
EF3 is equal to again 320 into 5C3 into 1 by 2 the whole power 3 into 1 by 2 the whole power 2 which is equal to 320 into 5C2 and 5C3 both are same equidistant square distance are equal therefore 320 into 10 into 1 by 32 so therefore again this is this becomes 100 so similarly EF4 is equal to 320 into 5C3 into 1 by 2 the whole power 4 into 1 by 2 the whole power 1 which is equal to again 320 into 5, <coughs> 5C3 here is 5C4 5C4 is again 5 into 1 by 32 which is equal to 50 which is equal to 50 So therefore, EF5, which is equal to 320 into 5C5 into 1 by 2 the whole power 5 into 1 by 2 the whole power 0. This is equal to 320 into 5C5 is 1 into 1 by 32. This is equal to again 10. So now we have EF1, EF0, EF1, EF2, EF3, EF4, EF5. So uh, expected frequency also we have now. So the observed frequencies are OI, OIs are 15, 45, 85, 95, 60, 20. Okay, expected frequencies are what we have found 10, 50, 100, 100, 50, 10. Okay, so now, now um, set up the and hypothesis H0. H0 is nothing but the coil is unbiased. The coil is unbiased. The coil is unbiased. Here <coughs> then the test statistic. The test statistic chi squared is equal to sigma O i minus E i the whole square divided by E i. Okay, so these are all O i and E i we have. So we have to take it, which is equal to 15 minus 10 the whole square. 15 minus 10 the whole square divided by 10 plus 45 minus 50 the whole square divided by 50 plus 85 minus 100 divided the whole square divided by 100 plus 95 minus 100 minus 100 divided by 100 the whole square plus 60 minus 50 the whole square divided by 100 plus 20 minus 10 the whole square divided by 10 divided by 10 so therefore the test statistics is chi square is equal to chi square is equal to 15 minus 10, 5 square, 25 by 10, plus 45 by 5, 25, uh, 45 minus 50, 5 square by 50, 25 by 50, so 85 minus 100, 15 square, that is 225 divided by, 225 divided by 100, divided by 100, 95 minus 10, 5 is 25 by 100, 25 by 100, plus 10 square 100 by 60 minus 10, 50. so here is 10, 50, 100, 100, so here is 50, 60 minus 50 divided by 50, so therefore 60 minus 50 is equal to 10, 
hundred by fifty plus plus ten minus twenty minus ten. That is ten square hundred by ten. Hundred by ten. So therefore, this is equal to two point five plus zero point five plus nine uh, by four two point two five. Nine by four is two point two five plus one by four zero point two five plus two plus ten. So therefore, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. So therefore, sixteen, seventeen point five. Seventeen point five. So therefore, so now we have calculated the calculated value. This is equal to seventeen point five. So the degrees of freedom, which is equal to the uh, the number of observations, the number of observation is six. Then minus the number of Linear constraints. Already I said the number of linear constraints is equal to uh, sigma zero o i is equal to sigma e i, which is equal to n. This is nothing but the linear constraint. There is only one linear constraint. Therefore, we have to subtract it. So, therefore, the degree of freedom obtained from the number of observations less the number of linear constraints imposed on it. So therefore, this is equal to five. So therefore, the table value for high square distribution for five degrees of freedom at five percent level of significance. Is this is uh, is from eleven point zero seven. This is this will be taken from the table, chi square table, uh, for uh, five degrees of freedom at five percent uh, level of significance. Okay, this is eleven point seven. So here the calculated value here the calculated value is greater than. Calculator value is nothing but how much? Seventeen point five is greater than eleven point zero seven. Is greater than the eleven point zero seven. That is the tabulated value. Therefore, H naught is rejected. Therefore, the H naught is rejected. Therefore, the coin is biased. Biased in the sense the coin is not perfect. So, therefore, ultimately, what we conclude that the coin is biased. Thank you.